let's do a business makeover. You can come with me. This is completely off the cuff. This is a lovely lady's business. She's called Shannon and she's asked me to look at her website, which is isladreamprints.com. So I haven't looked at this before. I had a quick brief look, but I haven't really gone into it in any detail. We're going to do a quick business audit. We're going to look at her marketing, her messaging. And she says that um, she's feeling a bit lost in business because her kids have grown up now and she's feeling a bit more passionate about making textured art for the home but she's spent so long making the children's range that it makes her feel sick just to let it go so let's have a look and see what we can see so she's trying to intertwine the two so i literally just typed in the url and this popped up not immediately but within a few seconds of me arriving on the site so that'll be step one i would recommend remove this and have it pop up on exit so as i'm leaving or after 30 seconds or a minute the longest that you can leave it because i just got here i don't even know if i want this stuff so i don't want to pop up just yet it's kind of like burping in my face when i just got here but you can definitely put it if i'm leaving and go but wait there's more or just at least give me 30 seconds to look around before you offer me this lovely thing so denied all right so isla dream original art by shannon berg this is really cool. After pay available, that's a good thing to say there. Okay, step one. This is a really pretty uh, logo. I would make it bigger. I think that I would make this much bigger. I love the little star. I'd make this bigger as well because it's a little bit hard to read. And if it's bigger, it will be easier to read. That's number one thing. Make your logo bigger. I think it probably might make this section here a bit wider, but that's okay. Number two, accessibility. So people with low vision or impaired vision, even me, um, are going to find this light pink on white very difficult to read. So you need to make this a much darker pink. Pastels on white are very difficult to read and this wouldn't pass um, the accessibility requirements. So that's something you could improve easily. My next thing is also take this all with a grain of salt this is like it's really easier to see from the outside it's very difficult to read the label from inside the jar and it's very difficult to critically evaluate your own baby this thing you've worked on for so long so i'm definitely not um like i've been asked to do this and i'm definitely not i wouldn't i'm not tearing anyone down this is just how i audit and these little improvements are easy to make and i love what you know she's got going on and these are just things that could be easily tweaked and fixed so that she gets um, more conversions and more sales and that's all good. So I am on the homepage above the fold, right? So, but I don't know what to do now. There's no instruction. I don't know what to do. Human brains are really lazy. We're conserving calories for life. So I need an instruction. I either want a big fat shop now button here. That's really hard to miss or like i literally don't know what to do so i'm thinking oh turning the cogs in my brain you're making me think don't make me think do it for me so i guess i have to scroll down right because i'm above the fold right now and then i'll scroll down and i can see the beautiful things see i can't read this white text on that background so you could do sorry for moving the microphone you could do a dark overlay over this art but it's not enough contrast oh i see what you mean about the textured art i love that that's really pretty Okay, hold on a second. Let's go back up here to above the fold. This top right hand side is prime real estate because if I'm using a mouse, it's the easiest place for me to get to. So there's your shopping cart and telling me that it's an AUD. Is that the best thing to have here? I'm not sure. I think maybe search I would potentially put over here. Because see how far I have to push my finger to get all the way across. It's like several sweeps of my finger on the pad. Um, this is too many choices. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Home is here. Textured art. Shop all. Shop by theme. Shop by color. Prints, wall decals. It's too many choices. I don't know what I want. So maybe I'll just have, I'm not sure I'd have to think on that further to figure out what would be some smaller groups, you know, like say four options. Kids things, grown ups things. I don't know, but I will think about that more later. Okay, so too many options because I don't know what to do. None of them are standing out to me. I don't really need to know that it's an AUD yet because I just got here. So let's scroll down and see what we can do. So pretty. Okay. Discover the magical. That was too quick. I didn't have time to read the first one. So slow this down. Ah, oh, look.
look lovely lovely picture i like these shiny that's really cute it's very disney and very barbie isn't it beautiful beautiful images make your kids smile love so with that picture i'm ask, i'm thinking to myself do you make the dresses and then you've got the art so yes i see what you're saying you're combining the two that's really gorgeous i'd love to see that hung up on the wall okay i've scrolled down you still haven't told me where to go to shop hand drawn painted or printed in australia textured originals prints wall decals and more okay this is a little bit what a little bit what we say like as a wall of text so People really just skim. They just want the headlines. People don't even read the article anymore. They just read the headlines. I already know you've got after pay available, so I probably wouldn't leave that here. I would maybe highlight this, but instead, childhood comes but once. Don't miss the magic. That's kind of... And what can we pull out of here to highlight? Lovingly hand-drawn, Shannon Berg, inspired by her children, capture the wonder of make-believe. That's pretty. I like this but i would maybe rework that text and make it shorter because it's too much for me to read um and tell me like what's the benefit of getting texted originals let's think about what we could say like make your home the envy of your visitors and they'll all ask you like where you got a thing from we always want to be original don't we pretty okay one pack of spring fling a i don't know what you're referring to is it those dots or is it that princess girl i don't really know Oh, here we go. Tallulah the Fairy, $32 NZD. Oh, let's put it in NZD for me. See, I can't really read this Isla Dream at all when it's faded. Um, okay, moving right along. Okay, lots of beautiful kids things. I would definitely have a kids button in the menu. And then send me down here. Maybe once I've clicked into kids, then you could ask me if I want dinosaurs or fairies or flowers or something. I'm not sure because I haven't looked yet. The images are gorgeous. Children's book, beautiful. Oh my God. Shipping, blogs. It's good. What I like is that these social icons are down the bottom because quite often people put them up the top. You really, if you've got me on your website, you want to keep me here. Don't send me away to social media. So they can be definitely done in the footer. Newsletter, we can do better than that. We could say, you know, notes from the fairy or you know let's think of something creative for that nobody wants a newsletter nobody so let's think of something creative for that we'll rework this footer menu doesn't need to be here i think we could take that out but I, I probably do want to search maybe i want to search daisies or something um, beautiful how cute okay i love that i love this i like the sections i like the collections i don't think this needs to be at the top let me have a further look. I love this art though. That's really cool. And you're so pretty and cute. Let me go theme, color, textured art on canvas. I want to see more of those. I would, given what you've told me, go full in on the textured art on canvas. You could still call it Isla Dream. You still keep the logo. Or potentially you could have a different version of it. I'm thinking with Isla Decor. And then have Isla Dream for the kids stuff and Isla Decor for the grown-up stuff? Not sure, just a thought. Okay, uh, my brain, which is a, an extreme example, but I'm a skimmer and I, I don't have time to read this. I know it says Welcome and Shannon. I'm not going to read the middle part, but if you highlighted one or if you had a quote here in quote marks or something bold, um, then I would probably read that. But you've got to kind of punch me in the, oh, you're not allowed to say things like that, but you know, like slap me in the face with it. Okay, sort by featured. Oh, these are really cute. These are so cool. Wow, look at that. This is gorge. Oh, sold out. I love this. If that's where you want to go, that's where you want to go. And I think what we call that, you know, when you've done something for so long and you're good at it and you've put so much time and effort into it and you've built this audience around this thing, but you want to do something different. It's like, um, oh God, now I forgot what the law is called. It's not the law of diminishing returns. It's it's kind of like sunk cost. You think, well, I've come this far. I've got to keep going. But actually, you don't. You can pivot. And I think you should because you've said you want to. And anything else would be inauthentic. So that is gorgeous. I would have this on the front page. I would have this above the fold. And I would lean into textured wall art. And then you could have a section that says for kids. So I would change it to Isla Decor. That's gorgeous. I want that. That's so cute. That's my brand colors. It's almost my brand daisies. Um, 
One of a kind handmade. After pay available from. I think it could have a bit more description. And can people get prints of them if they don't have the texture? Can you just get a print of this? He says that here and I'm not reading it. Um, okay, so thinking about the customer journey, I'm on this page. I've realized that's sold out. I don't know if you've got prints of it. It would be really cool if you had a link here to say this one's sold out, but do you want me to paint you another one? Or would you like a print? Like, I don't know what to do now again. So people need telling what to do. So I think I'm just going to go back to textured art on canvas, but it'd be good if you had a link to go back to see more. Um, I, wow, look at that, the meringue one. Definitely I would lean into your art, lean into all of that. I'd like to know what other people think. Oh my God, these are so pretty. Sorry, that's not what I'm here to do, but you've definitely distracted me with these. These are amazing. You could do, potentially, because like, I want these, but could you do my shape of flower? You could kind of do commissions for people in their brand colors with the type of flower. That's gorgeous. Okay, hold on. Let me remain focused. Oh, prints. Here we go. So interesting. I can go to a prints section. Oh, transform. See, we've gone back to kids now. So I think, think of one particular use case. Who is this person? I want to say it's maybe a small business owner, maybe just a person who's looking for unique decor. We love texture. And I would say, think of their customer journey. So they're looking for art. Maybe they want it to be on brand. Maybe they don't. Maybe you want to do commissions for people. Maybe you don't. But I would go decor. I would go, yeah, drop collections and just think about what is the person looking for. They're looking for art. Is it going to, I don't know how you would um, categorize art, but maybe it's like in color palettes. Maybe it's in like themes, like floral versus abstract. Or maybe it's, you could put them in any room, can't you? So I'm not quite sure how you would categorize those, but I would have less writing here. This prints for kids, because it didn't say prints for kids. I thought it was the prints I wanted. And now I've gone off track and I'm on someone else's customer pathway, which is still a legitimate customer pathway. But if I'd clicked kids and then I wanted one of your originals and then I wanted a print, gorgeous. I mean, don't let it go. Keep it here. But I think first and foremost, I would go with the, the textured stuff and then have this on a kids page because then I could go all the way through my customer journey and not have to see the kids stuff. But if someone else is really looking for, you know, nursery decor, then they can go there. Cushions. Um, so I will make some notes. I'll stop talking now, but I will make some notes once I've had to think about what I would suggest maybe the menu categories could be. Um, but it's a beautiful website. Your work is beautiful. I just think it's got a bit of an identity crisis, which is fair enough. That's how we all get there. And the cushions, yeah, I would probably definitely put that into, do you still want to stock those? I feel like, I feel like art is your thing. I want to go and look at Australiana. So sometimes it's about paring it down and really just leaning into the thing that is all about you. That's pretty beautiful. That's gorgeous. I don't know that you need the cushions. I would probably pair them down. And I'd, I'd don't know if I would do colour in sheets, cushions, books, or puzzles. I would do original art, prints, and wall decals. Oh, I'm going to see what this one is. Oh, mermaid scales. Cool. Oh, that's pretty. Those are really pretty. So I would keep those. Not just because I like them, but I think that they go with your overall, you know, the idea of what I think your shop could be. What happens if I go shop all products? So there might be a little bit of re jigging that's gorgeous but yeah I think I would put the kids stuff all on a very separate page and but that's only with what I know first look so if we were to speak you might say but I've got this whole entire audience or I don't know where your traffic comes from I'm not sure you know what you've got going on on socials but I think go for it maybe maybe a version of this whole thing here could be that you do the Isla decor and you might just make it the same colors, but darker. So it's like a more grown up punchy version 
of this brand and so then it will still have the cohesiveness of the brand but you're kind of switching it up a bit i don't think you need to do isla dream prints i don't think you need to do a whole new website or anything i would just put the kick i would just do textured art on canvas have a big shop now button and then have a kids thing and maybe inside once i'm inside kids let me shop by color and stuff anyway i hope that's helpful i really love your work thank you for letting me do this and I'll catch you on the flip side with some notes.